Hello everyone, my name is Kadambari Deshmukh and uh, I'm teaching in Vokha Global School, Aurangabad. And today is my webinar topic is storytelling with props and voice modulation. I would like to share what is storytelling. What is storytelling? Storytelling is an activity in which we tell or write a story. As we say, as we as its name says, storytelling is to tell a story. Role of prop uh, in storytelling, like prop are things that uh, that can be used uh, for explaining something in a story. While uh, while you are telling a story, you can use prop to show what is happening in the story. The next one is role of uh, voice modulation in storytelling. Voice modulation is the uh, like the most important part of the story telling because telling a story, we need to speak. Uh, while telling a story, uh, you need to speak and control your voice. And this is the role of voice modulation and storytelling. I would like to share some tips to improve your voice in storytelling. Like be yourself. You need to uh, tell the story that you, uh, that you are comfortable and familiar with and pick up always a story uh, which, which is comfortable enough to tell others. Like uh, other point is know the story well. It is important to know the story so that you can deliver it with suitable method of uh, delivery. The next one is relax your vocal muscles before the se uh, session. Practice breathing to clear your lungs and airways and also calm yourself. Next point I need to include is point of view. While telling a story, choose a point of view you are comfortable with and the best suited for the story to be told. Clear pronunciation. It is best if you can tell the story with clear pronunciation and from uh, introduction to end, speak loudly and clearly as well. The next one I will add, take good care of your voice, especially when you are planning a story session. Do not strain your voice. Drink lots of water before starting the session so that you, your throat doesn't get dry. Gesture. Non-verbal skills are also important to bring out unspoken words. Certain gestures like uh, uh, will add weight to your unspoken words and will take it more powerful. Be expressive. You want your audience to be happy and relaxed. And in order to do so, you need to be relaxed and expressive. You must try to express enough so that you can send your message across to your audience. Next, I will add, don't be shy. It's completely okay to look uh, or sound family, uh, funny because after all, you want your audience to enjoy and have fun. The last one I will say, record your voice. Once you have practiced or, uh, and get ready, record yourself telling the story. Uh, and replay it in part uh, and try to improve the part which you need for some of the improvements. With that, I uh, would like to add, how can the story be effective when we use prop and voice modulation? When we use prop and voice modulation in the story, people can see what is happening in the story, can clearly understand the story, and they don't need to uh, read. Makes, uh, makes them interested in storytelling. Like you can see in this picture, a teacher is uh, narrating one story with uh, having uh, one hand puppet. It's a little cow and children are uh, 
children are very uh, express uh, children are expressing about their wow one is saying wow looking at the uh, looking at that hand puppet yes other one is ha 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 expressing with her with his laugh because when ma'am is making some funny faces or some funny looks uh, the child is ex excited and uh, express him with uh, with the, uh, with ha 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 and uh, that is and other kids uh, who are also enjoying uh, they are saying what is this the other one answers it's a little cow so with props and voice modulation you can um, you can uh, narrate your story very effectively uh, and i would like to uh, share one video of mine Hello everyone. How are you all? Well, all good. Today I am going to tell you a story of King of the Jungle. Do you know who is the King of Jungle? Yes, you guess it right. Lion is the King of the Jungle, and today the story is about the lion and the mouse. Let's start. Okay. Once upon a time, there lived a lion in the jungle. After having his meal, he was resting under the tree. The naughty mouse saw him, and the mouse said, "It would be fun to play on lion's back." Repeat, yeah. Repeat, yeah. Repeat. Lion woke up and shouted at Mouse, "You little naughty mouse! How dare you to play on my back? Now I will eat you!" The mouse got scared and apologized. "Oh, sir, please forgive me this time. Maybe someday I will help you." The lion said, "You lucky little mouse!" Just now I had my meal. Go away and never come back. Oh, thank you, sir. I will never forget this favor. Saying this, mouse ran away. Two days later, when lion was roaming in the jungle, a hunter saw him. Hmm. Zoom and set a trap. For catching the lion, whoosh! Lion got caught in that trap. The lion got scared and started shouting, "Help! Help! Somebody, please help me! Help! Help! Somebody, please help me!" He was hoping for someone to come and help me, help him. Little mouse. Heard lion calling for the help. The king of the jungle need my help. I should go there and tell him. It's time to return my favor. The mouse ran towards the lion and said, "Oh, sir, don't worry. I will cut your neck with my sharp teeth." And this way, mouse caught mouse cut the net with his sharp teeth. Lion said, "Thank you, thank you for releasing me from the net." And now lion realized, very little friend can be a big help. Lion said, "Thank you, little mouse, ah, uh, for helping me." Now you can live happily in the jungle. Hearing this, mouse was very happy and said, "Thank you and goodbye." Now lion said, "Where are you going? You don't want to play on my back?" 
Mouse was so happy to hear this. Yes, I do want to play on your back. This way, lion and mouse became a good friend. Yes, do you like this story? Now, can you tell me what is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is no one is so big and no one is so small to help others. Right? I hope you like my story. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. I hope you all like my story and these are the some uh, links of the resources which has helped me in researching about my today's webinar and thank you everyone for attending my webinar. Um, I will be happy to answer your question. You can send it in my channel. Thank you. Good day.